All right, guys, what I'm going to show you today is how to get a little more performance out of your older Apple device. This right here is my first generation 32 gigabyte iPad. I'll take it out of its case just to prove that to you. See, first gen. Hopefully you can see it's 32 gig. If not, you'll just have to take my word for it. And it is getting extremely slow. I've had it for probably a year and a half now, and I really need to upgrade to a newer tablet like a Nexus 7. That's my plan to get a Nexus 7, but until then, I'm going to try to get as much life out of this as I can. So I'm going to show you guys how to get a little more performance out of your tablet. And this is without losing any information, even though it might seem at first like you're gonna lose information. But first, so I'm already in the tab that you wanna be in, and that is iCloud. You wanna make sure everything is backed up to iCloud. Well, I guess not really everything, but at least all your application information. So you will go into, make sure iCloud backup is on, as it says, we'll automatically backup camera roll, accounts, documents, and settings. So, and now I've got myself confused, manage storage. As you can see, those I'm pretty sure are from my Mac that's being backed up there, but I could be wrong, that could be the iPad. So as you can see up in the upper portion of the screen, it says this iPad, Benjamin's iPad. So I have about 700 megabytes of stuff backed up. Click in there. My last backup was a little before I made this video. I didn't want to do the backup on camera because that would take way too long. But as you can see, all this stuff is backed up. That would be, I guess that might be my history that's backed up there. These, I'm hoping, I haven't done this before, but I'm hoping that all the information that's inside the apps is actually my accomplishments in the apps, like the stuff that I've won, the time that I've put in to get the money that I have. But if not, I'm not really losing a whole lot. I'm doing most stuff on my phone now. But as you can see, all that is backed up. Music and pictures are actually backed up here too. But music and movies, hopefully, are backed up on your computer and you can get it off there. I personally, for music, am now using Spotify, so I don't have to worry about that. But if you're not using Spotify, make sure all your music is backed up on your computer. You can also probably, yeah, iTunes has the ability where you can re-download it. So you should be good there, but just make sure in case it's a disc you borrowed from someone or whatnot. So now I'm going to show you how to speed up your tablet. Go back into settings, go into general, and <laughs> that's how wacky this thing is, and go down to reset. Now you could try reset all settings. That might increase your performance a little, might help you out just enough. But I am going to go to erase all content and settings. So we all media and data, reset all settings, erase. Yes, I'm sure. And now the iPad will restart. And this will probably take a while. Okay, so it just finished its clearing, probably. And now I'm not sure if I have to manually turn it back on or if it will turn it back, if it will turn itself back on. Looks like I'm going to have to. There we go. We might get it at loading bar again, like that bar we had before when it turned off. Yes, we did. And there we go. We're at slide to set up. English. USA should really be at the top. <coughs> U.S. Virgin Islands, United Arab Emirates, United States. Next. I don't want location services. Next. Yep. Next. 
and then here's the important bit. Go to restore from iCloud backup. You could also do it from an iTunes backup, but as I showed you in this video, to backup to iCloud. So restore from iCloud backup. Next. I'm going to put in my username and password, which I'm obviously not doing on camera. Oh, you'll get, once you sign in, you'll get that information. You need to hit agree. Because no one actually reads that. Yes, I want to back up from today. Restore. This will probably take a while. All right. Once you have let it go through its whole restoring process, it will do one of those restarts where it has the progress bar go across again. And once that's done, it will open up and it will automatically start downloading all your applications. As you can see, mine has quite a few to download. And as I said earlier in the video, I only have a DSL connection. So this will probably take a while, but that's all good. But while we're here, let's see if I can find my Photos app. And if I can, I'm just going to have to cheat and use the search function. If I can find the Photos app, let's see if it's downloaded any pictures. Yes, as you can see right there. Hopefully you can see that. Come on camera, focus. There we go. Downloading 154 of 256. So, yes, it is downloading. I'm sorry that my camera keeps going in and out of focus. It doesn't like focusing on a regular black screen. But it is downloading. 